everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to make a no-sew bow wreath. Here is a sample of one that I just made for Halloween. If you saw my last craft video, you'll see that I used the same fabric with the ghosts and the pumpkins. And the really cool thing is, I actually just used the leftover pieces of fabric from that project that weren't needed. So I just, all of the pieces around the edges that I cut for the tree skirt, I was able to use to make this really awesome wreath. So keep that in mind when you have fabric left over. You can use remnants, um, little pieces of fabric to make this project. It's really simple and easy. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to buy is a green round foam wreath. I got this at the dollar store. I know you can get them at all craft stores, dollar stores, 99 cent stores, um, anywhere that you can find one, but this is the easiest thing to work with. The next thing that you will need are pieces of fabric that are cut into strips 14 inches long. I will show you exactly how I did mine using this piece of fabric that I want to use on the wreath I'm going to make. So you just need to make sure that it's at least 14 inches long, which this doubled over is more than 14 inches long. And you're going to cut anywhere from one and a half inches to one and three quarter inches. It doesn't have to be exact and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. As you can see, once it's all tied on, you can't tell anyway. So I'm just going to do a cut that's about one and a half inches wide and I'm just going to cut all the way down this fabric and cut a strip. Like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yardstick and I'm going to measure 14 inches approximately. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact because once you start tying these on, you won't be able to tell any different. slide them together to push them right up next to each other. So for this wreath, I actually found two pieces of ribbon that I want to use just to give it a little different look. I'm going to use this sheer purple and this sheer yellow. So I've already cut a few pieces, so I'm now going to put on a piece of yellow ribbon. Tie it tight and push it together and a piece of purple ribbon. And tie it tight, push it together. And now I'm going to move on to my other purple fabric and put three ties in a row. There's one. and three. So as you can see, this is really, really an easy project. It's really easy to make. Um, it doesn't take much time at all. 
and these make really great gifts for the holidays. You can um, make them and give them to a neighbor, make them and give them to a teacher at your child's school, co-workers, family, friends, everyone loves a homemade gift. And this is something fun and unique that not everyone may have and they would like to receive. The other thing that you can do is you can buy something really cute to add onto your wreath. So for example, this is a little more of a spring looking wreath that I'm working on right now. So you can at the Dollar Tree or at Michael's, you can usually find birds or butterflies that you can add onto the front, which would make a really cute addition to this one. Obviously for my Halloween wreath, I haven't glued it on yet, but I found this really cute little tag at um, Michael's is actually where I got it. It was $2.99 and I used a coupon, so I got it for about $2 with tax and everything. And it's a really cute addition. You can either tie it on. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hot glue it down towards uh, the bottom side right here. Probably somewhere right around there. And it's just a really cute addition to the wreath. So just think about that when you're in the craft store and see all the cute little things hanging around that it might be something that you can add onto your wreath. I hope you enjoyed this video and how easy it is to make and tie together. It really doesn't take that long at all. I hope that you enjoy making these around the holidays and come up with some really, really great ideas. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't see my last video with the Christmas tree skirt that I showed you how to make, you can click the button over here to watch it. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, make sure to ch click the button over here to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! I'm a crafty dog. I love crafting. Oh, let's craft some more, Mama.